ओके गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक वन इज द एटमोस्फेयर करेक्शन एंड अदर वन इज द एस टारगेटिंग ओवर द हाई पर्सपेक्ट्रल डेटा ओके सो द एटमोस्फेयर करेक्शन एंड एस टारगेटिंग बेसिकली एम गोइंग टू शो यू ओवर द एन वी सॉफ्टवेयर ओके सो हाउ विल गोइंग टू परफॉर्म दिस टू ओवर द हाई पर्सपेक्ट्रल डेटा सो दैट विल बी अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक फॉर यू ऑल ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट विद दैट सो आई हैव वन सैम्पल हाई पर्सपेक्टल डेटा सो ओवर दैट ओनली आई एम गोइंग टू परफॉर्म दिस एक्सरसाइज ओके सो लेट्स ओपन दिस सो आई हैव दिस हाई पर्सपेक्टल डेटा विच इज देयर इन द कुक सिटी सो ओवर दिस यू सी देर इज वन रेडियंस डैट डेटा सेट्स विल बी देयर हाई मैप डेटा सेट सो दैट आई एम सिंपली ओपनिंग इट okay so see this is the in general data which is coming in a black and white mode so if you want to make it in a color mode like uh, means uh, true color composite sorry so then you can uh, simply changing the band combinations you can do that like 14 8 and suppose 2 so if you load it so you see so now it is uh, a, a, it will open in true color composite okay so now usually if you see uh, hyperspectral our main focus is to creating a spectra so if you see over the radiance how the spectra is looking like so see this is something looking like over the vegetations it will be never meet with the exact the vegetation spectra which is actually look like obviously because this is our radiance value so why not we can create this uh, same spectra over the reflectance so for the calculations of the reflectance we have to convert this radiance into a reflectance okay so there is a various way to do that one is the quick atmospheric correction process another one is the false uh, uh, flush atmospheric correction process okay so if you see in nv we have two different module okay so under the radiometric corrections you have the two module okay in under the atmospheric correction module you have two module one is flush one is the quick atmospheric correction module quick atmospheric correction is also very good okay so but our here main focus is i am going to show you the flush corrections so uh, simply click on this flush corrections so what you need to give you need to give input a radiance image you see here it is showing uh, uh, to give input your radiance image so now uh, i'm just simply uh, opening that same radiance image whatever we have so simply click on okay so here it is asking you to select some array okay so that array files you have to select and that you have to give as an input here so this uh, this is an ascii file okay so this ascii file you have to give so this is one ascii file uh, you see this is actually radiance scale factor dialog box okay so this we have already uh, this uh, ready array of the scale factor of one bands which i'm going to give input okay from the ascii file so that i'm going to give input here and see this ascii uh, file which is actually uh, appears in sh which is showing you here this is actually five first five item in the file okay so that is going to show so this file has been created uh, to show uh, the different scaling factor which is actually used for the vinr bands okay visual near infrared bands okay as an opposed to the short wave infrared bands so the first uh, you can say the first 62 channels have a scale of 1000 okay and the remaining channels what we have that is a scale factor of 4000 so for the multiple uh, factor also we will going to give uh, suppose uh, 0.4 so that i am going to show you after some time so you just see here so just click on okay you need to give this one as a input and you just see here scale factor so this is the multiple scale factor value which i am going to give a value is 0.4 for this particular high map data okay so high map data sets so this is basically the high map i'm just going to use that so on a high hyperon this is a high map data okay so simply click on okay so you see now your files are ready so what you have to give now you can give your reflectance file output uh, temporary file wherever you want to save so i'm just going to share, save in a same place so that i can uh, it will be easy for me so i will go to this particular location where i am going to give us some name of this particular uh, data array like high map okay underscore red okay so high map radiance uh, that is the name which i am giving i'm just make it copy so that i can give the same name in another two place 
okay so this is the output reflectance file which we just provided and then you have to go and select the directory also the same directory which you just given there okay so this a drive and then okay so that i'm just going to give as an input okay so now you need to give a root root name so same root name you just provide okay so see here most are it's fine so now this is a high map radiance value so that also i given now you have to add these all parameters so this is a sensor specific parameter so you have to check the metadata file for this particular satellites and accordingly you have to give this informations even the local information is also required for the meteorological conditions so that also you need to collect before running this particular model okay so if you see here the first is the sensor so you have to select the sensor for this particular purpose i am going to use hyperspectral and you see predefined satellites are there so i am going to use here as a high map okay so now uh, you just see here the scene center lag long is taken by automations okay and now you have to give the sensor specific informations which is provided by your metadata file of that particular satellites okay so in this case i am just going to input uh, by myself zero i already have this informations from the metadata so i am just typing simply zero okay and then pixel size will be the 3 meter okay so now uh, the flight date okay so you can change the flight date like from the uh, i just going to show you from the july this is the july date and uh, for july okay fine and this will be the year is 2006 similarly you have to give the flight timing also so just give it here okay so that's all uh, now you have want to give uh, you just see here this atmospheric model so this is for this particular satellites the locations which will be falling under the mid latitude summer okay so i'm just going to give a mid latitude summer area okay and then aerosol model obviously this is a rural area so this is a rural will be perfect for that and the uh, spectral policing whatever we have so i'm just making it as a yes water retrieval is also make it yes because here water retrieval is also very important because it is you can show water absorption in a three different way like 1132 940 and 820 so i'm just going to select it as a 1135 okay so an aerosol retrieval model if you want you can select okay and then with number also and then wavelength okay so that will be the by default i'm taking okay and then finally the visibility so you need required a local visibility information okay various agencies are just providing this informations to you so you have to check that and you have to select accordingly okay if you want you can go for the advanced settings but as of now i'm not going into any advanced settings i'm simply running it and then i will going to compare the two different spectra of radiance and reflectance okay so that is our first objective here so simply i will go to the apply So let's wait for the result for a few minutes. Okay, it's still running. Let's wait for a few seconds. Yes, finally it was done. And you just see uh, this is the file, information file. Sometimes it is required for different kind of analysis. You can note it down also. Or else uh, you just close this and let's open this reflectance value in a two different window and we will compare the radiance and reflectance how the spectra is actually going to change. So simply make it in a two vertical view or horizontal view sorry. Okay and uh, you can select this. Okay and similarly uh, I will going to select that same one uh, like uh, now I am going to open this one our flash data okay so here you can give select some particular bands like 14 8 and 2 and let's it open so you just see here now two are open properly and you can make uh, this together and now you can compare these two the uh, reflectance value okay so how we going to compare so the very easy way is so first you have to select this click the now go to the view sorry first go to the view link okay so make it uh, so geolink or link all you can do simply click on okay 
so here once you click then both will come up okay and now you can click on this spectra for this first one so this is a very first spectra of the radiance part and this one is your the reflectance spectra so let's click on this again so this is your reflectance spectra see the differences between the radiance and reflectance over the vegetation so see okay so see so you will find it will much closer than the reflectance values are much closer yes obviously the absorption is more okay but you just see you will never get exact the vegetation spectra over the radiance value but in the spectral profile over flash corrected reflectance data you will get the reflectance value of the vegetations exactly accurate you see this is a for the water absorption this is for the high reflectance over the vegetations okay so that's all from this so if you are interested please let me know that you want to see the s targeting or not which is need to do after this reflectance uh, corrections okay so that's flash corrections so if possible the next video next week we will going to come with the s corrections thank you thank you very much all so if you like my channel please subscribe and share this video to others okay thank you everyone